So you've been seeing footage of people on Twitter playing Tekken 6, Tag Tournament 2, and Tekken 5 Dark Resurrection online, and you're wondering, how in the world can I do it? Well, don't worry. I'm going to show you in this super fast, super easy video how to get this set up and playing within five minutes. Let's not waste any time. Let's go right for it. The first thing that you need to do is download RPCS3, which by the way, everything is in the description. So everything that you need for this video is gonna be down below. Scroll on down to see the Windows tab and go ahead and click the download for X64. If you're a Linux or a Mac user, the installation process is probably going to be a little bit different. However, I don't use Linux systems because I hate them. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to help anybody with that. But if you're using something as advanced at Linux, I hope you at least know how to use your operating system. When you go to download the file, it'll be a 7-zip that's going to unpack into all one folder. So I suggest making a subfolder called RPCS3 so you can dump all of this into it. Follow the instruction setups. It's pretty simple. I'm not going to go ahead and reinstall RPCS3 to go through all of that. I hope to God that you guys at least understand how to download EXE files and unpack 7-zip files. If you don't have a 7-zip or WinRAR, you're definitely going to need that, obviously. But if you don't have WinRAR or 7-zip in 2025, what are you doing? The very next thing that we're going to want to do before we even start downloading any of our games is setting up our RPCS3 to be able to run online. So when we install our games, all we have to do is launch them and can start right from there. Go ahead and go to configuration and RPCN, go to account, and then here, make sure that the server is official RPCN server. Your ID, you won't see any ID whatsoever since I've already made mine. Go ahead and hit create account. It'll ask you for a username that you want to create and a password that you want to create, then an email. It's going to email you a token. It's pretty much just an authentication to see that you're a real human being. Paste that token that you get from your email in the slot that tells you to place the token. It's pretty straightforward. And then once you're done with that and you get right back to this menu and it shows you your name, go ahead and hit test account to make sure it says that your account is valid. That means it's receiving your information to their database and you will be able to connect to online. However, we're not 100% done yet with the RPCS3 setup. We want to go ahead and go into configuration and click anywhere because for some reason for me, I don't see the network tab that pops up on the configuration tab. So we're going to need to just get to the network tab. Make sure the status for the connection is connected. PSN status is RPCN and then country, whatever country you are from. The DNS doesn't really matter. And then also make sure that UPnP is enabled as well. This will make sure that anybody that you're playing with is automatically doing port forwarding. It's a foolproof way to make sure that everything works flawlessly. Once you're done with that, make sure that you hit apply and then save. And the one final thing that is extraordinarily important that you're going to want to do for your entire system, go to configuration, GPU, and make sure that right color buffers is set to on. The reason as to why is because I haven't seen it with Tekken 6 or Dark Resurrection, but Tag Tournament 2 has a problem with its color system. So all of the clothes in the majority of the stages would be black unless this setting is on. Keeping it on, I haven't seen any difference between Tekken 6, Tekken 5 Dark Resurrection, or any of the other PS3 games that I play on my emulator. So having this on just universally will make that Tag 2 works and should at least make sure there's no other problems happening. One more trick. I know the last trick was supposed to be the last one, but this is also another very important one and will help you with all of the games that you play no matter what. Make sure that enable buffering for your audio is turned off. It doesn't create a huge buffer for input lag, but it's enough to be two to three frames. And with games that are already this old that you're playing across online through an emulator, you want to try and lower as much as your input lag as possible to be as close to the authentic experience as possible. So make sure that this is turned off unless you're getting weird audio problems, then turn it back on. And like always, make sure you hit apply, save, and then we are done and set up with your RPCS3. Now, the next most important thing that we need to do before we start installing games is we need to install the PS3 firmware so RPCS3 can actually run. Go ahead and head to the link in the description down below to the PS3 website. It should look exactly like this. Once you get here, you'll scroll down and you'll see how to update the PS3 system software. Hit update using a computer. It'll open this section right here. And instead of left clicking the download the PS3 update, because for some reason it won't work, you're going to want to right click and hit save link as. And you'll see right here, it's a PS3 update.pup file. So it's exactly what we need. Save this to a place that you're familiar with. Go back to RPCS3 three, go to file and install firmware. Install the pup file that you just downloaded. It shouldn't take too long. And there you go. Your firmware is good to go. And RPCS3 is 100% working. Now let's go ahead and go get some games. Now that we've went ahead and gotten RPCS3 updated and ready to go, we want to start downloading games, updating them, and downloading the online passes if need be. You can only find Tekken Tag Tournament's two entire game on no PlayStation. And for Tekken 5 DR and Tekken 6, you're going to have to find a website. Oh no, sorry, it's the exact same website that I used. I, I got to blur all this out so you guys don't see it. I'm sorry. 
Hopefully this blur is intense enough that you totally cannot see the name and can't go to this website to download the DR version of Tekken 5 and Tekken 6, but hey, I tried my best if you were able to see it. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the update files and downloading the games themselves. Like I said, Tekken 5, Tekken 6, you're gonna have to download them somewhere else, but I will show you where to get the update files here in a second. Let me show you how to use no PayStation in case you're using Tag 2, or you're downloading the online pass for Tekken 5, DR, or Tekken Tag 2, which is both here. Let's go ahead and show you. First things first, we're gonna wanna go ahead and find the game. Make sure it says open in PS3 because it's gonna be the PS3 version. You don't want the Vita version or anything like that. Click on the actual name of the game and you'll see two things. Download the PKG and download the wrap. The PKG is going to be the package file. It's the actual game itself. And the wrap is going to be the license that allows the game to run. You need both of these. So go ahead and download both of them. If you're downloading games from another website or from the super severely blurred website that you totally were not able to see, it's going to be in an ISO file, so you don't need to do the whole PKG and wrap situation with this stuff. After you want to install both the PKG and the wrap file, go ahead and go back to RPCS3, go to File, and go to Install Package, Wraps, or EDATS. Highlight both the two files, the wrap and the PKG file, and it'll start installing both of them. It'll take a moment. If your game is an ISO and you need to find the folder itself that it's in, go ahead and go to the Add Game section and just click at the repository that your game has been downloaded to. Once your game is installed, and everything is good to go, whether you're running Tekken 6, Tekken Tag Tournament 2, or Dark Resurrection, there's a couple of more things you need to do. First things first, Tekken Tag Tournament 2 and Dark Resurrection both need an online pass to be able to run. Tekken 6 does not. You just need to update the game, and I'll talk about the updates in a second. For both Tag Tournament 2 and Dark Resurrection, the online passes can be found in no pay station. Just search Tekken Tag Tournament 2 if you're looking for Tag 2, and you'll see the online pass right there. Just to show you the same things with DR as well, online upgrade right there. I want to go ahead and make an editor's note real quickly to let you guys know that you cannot download a US game and then download the EU pass. So for Tekken 5 DR, you have to download the EU version of the game. And for Tag 2, you can download the US or the EU version, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that the DLCs that you are getting are explicitly for the EU version of the game or the NA version of the game. If not, the online pass isn't going to work and you're not going to be able to play. So make sure that you're getting it from the correct places, and that super secret website that I told you about has repositories for US, Japan, EU, whole nine yards. So make sure you download the one that works best for you. If you install the ISO version of the game and it says that it's Tekken 5 DR Online Edition, you don't need the online pass because it's just T5 DR with the online upgrade already installed into it. Again, just like installing games, if you are going to install an online upgrade, make sure that you download the PKG and the wrap. Go back to RPCS3, and the great thing about this is you can just go right back to file and install packages, wraps, edats again. That's how you will do all of the DLCs that you find on No PayStation, all of the updates, everything. It'll all be like this. It'll automatically find the game that it needs to install and update to and go from there. Speaking of which, let me go and show you the last thing that you're going to need, and that's actually updating the games. Tekken Tag Tournament 2 and Dark Resurrection both need to be in the 1.01 version of the game, while Tekken 6 needs to be in the 1.03 version for rank to be able to run. To do this, all you gotta do is navigate to the link in the description again, and go ahead and click the RPCS3 Discord join. You're gonna to wanna to navigate after you adjoin, over down to bot span from off topic. Down in the description below, right below the RPCS3 Discord invite, you're gonna see all of this weird like slash PSN check updates products code. All of that, it's not going to look exactly like this. There's going to be a colon after product code and then there's not gonna be the NPU, et cetera, et cetera, since this is an actual different game. What you're gonna wanna do is copy that entire length that I had posted, this part right here, since I have a text document with it open, and then go to RPCS3, copy info, and then copy the serial and paste the serial just like that. It'll automatically set to Tekken Tag Tournament 2. You don't have to click anything, just send it, and it'll automatically send the command and give you the one update file that you need. Go ahead and download that, and just like we had showed you before, there's no wrap files for this one. You don't need wrap files for the updates when it comes to the RPCS3. And then just go to the file, install packs, reps, edats, etc., and that's all you need to do. You'll need to repeat this for every update that you'll have. Like I said, for Tekken Tag Tournament 2 and Dark Resurrection, there's only one update. However, if you're trying to play Tekken 6, you will have to install every single retrospective update before the 1.03. So you'll need to install the base 1.0 game, then 1.0 
1.01, then 1.02, then 1.03. You can't just install 1.03 and nothing else. They need the other two DLCs or it won't work. Once you have finally updated your games, everything is good to go there. You've applied your online passes. You are good to just start Tekken Tag Tournament 2, Dark Resurrection, Tekken 6, everything. You're completely good to go. We've got two lobbies right up there right now, and people are still playing. You can see the lobbies, all of that kind of stuff. And like I said, you don't need to do any of this for Tekken 6. All you got to do is do update the game, download it, do the whole RBCS3 setup and everything, and you're good to go. With this game and Tekken 5, just install the updates and the online pass, and you're going to be working golden. If you want any of the DLCs, like I said, it's the exact same thing. Download from No PlayStation the RAP file and the PKG file and install them the same way that I've been telling you and showing you, and you should have absolutely zero problem getting all of this set up. Comments or concerns about this video specifically, please leave them down below and I will answer any questions that I can. This is the exact setup that I did. I did it all on my own, so there should be zero problems. Everything should be working totally fine. But again, if there's something that's weird and you can't figure it out, ask me down below and I'm happy to help out. Thank you guys so much for watching watching this video as always and if you're interested in playing these games online with other people I'm going to be hosting this Saturday either a Tekken 5 DR or a Tekken Tag Tournament 2 player match. We haven't decided yet but we make it a poll up for it for soon so if you want to vote for it go ahead and do that here soon but if not I'll see you guys Saturday and thank you so much for watching the video. Bye.